great suffering came a solution. Communities. Injected. Serene, beautiful places where disorder became harmony. Do you know how to fly those? Absolutely. Do you get to fly to the edge? Oh, yeah. What's past there? Don't know. We're not allowed to fly past that. Let's go. It's against the rules, Jonas. So I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. Like, walking out, I feel like, um... I began to like appreciate the little things in life a little more, like those things that I take for granted. Maybe right. those things that uh, were beautiful to me as a child or as a baby, but they're like brand brand new to me again after walking out of this movie. Did this oh, movie? That's very cool, man. That's very cool. Yeah, awesome. Did this movie have any effect like that for you, like doing it? Yeah, it did definitely. I mean, you know, every movie that I do, that I've done which is not that many, you know. Um, yeah. You always try and access parts of your life that are relevant right. to the character. Right. And in this film, there were so many very rich, deep emotions that Jonas discovers and, you know, that I had to discover as well. And mm -hmm. so I would draw on my experiences in, that I have had in life to try and make it as real as possible. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, you kind of rediscover little sweet memories and, like, little nice moments that you've had and... You know, you try and work for certain ages. You know, you're five years old, and um, I'm five years old, and I'm, I'm five years old. And then, you know, some, some beautiful five, memory of you being five years old will come to you. Yeah. Um, so there was like, yeah, it was kind of similar for me, man. I, you know, yeah, I found lots of little cool things that I wouldn't even think of mm -hmm. in any other movie. That reminds me of uh, this quote that really stood out to me, and it's uh, the worst part of holding the memories is not the pain, it's the loneliness of it. Memories need to be shared, and that's so true. Is there a memory from like making this movie or maybe through your upbringing that just really stood out to you? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, I guess there's a lot of really rich memories from this, from the making of this film. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorites is just playing music with Jeff Bridges. Yeah. You know? Playing those songs from Crazy Heart, you know, that, that movie just was like, yeah, man, it was such a beautiful film. And to be able to play those songs with Jeff, is, it was like, at the time, I kind of took it for granted, I think, and just played and had fun. But now that I look back, it was such a, um, a beautiful connection, you know. And I guess that's one of the, that's a great memory I have. There's many, but that's one of them. Yeah. My name. I know who you are. Who are you? The giver. When the elders need guidance, I provide wisdom using memories of the past. Our world was different. There was more. More? And I feel like advice plays such a big part in this movie. Like, because you're getting all these memories and knowledge uh, from the giver, and then he tells you, like, uh, how to handle that and how to survive this world that's in the movie. Uh, what's the best advice that you've gotten from? Maybe somebody like in your family or working in this business, how to survive this business? Um, well, I don't know if I will survive this business, to be <laughs> honest. Um, the, the best survivor of this business that I, have, that I know is Jeff Bridges. Yeah. You know, he seems to be such a happy guy, and, you know, so creative in so many different forms. Um, I guess the the best advice that I've got is just, you know, try and be fearless mm -hmm. and trust yourself. Be brave, you know. Right. Because it's, it's, it's so hard because, you know, you've got so much happening in this world, in this, you know, in this industry. There's so many people, there's so many judgments and so many criticisms and you're just putting yourself out there to be made fun of or liked, either one, right. you know. And, um, but you have to, you, you know, you have to kind of be in it to win it, or you know, you have to kind of jump out there in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, and so I guess the best advice I ever got was just to jump. Much more. Right. You'll see them all in time, all colors, all differences. Our people chose to do away with emotions. Those morning injections take them away. 
And this movie is uh, based on a very popular novel. And filmmakers, when they adapt books, they have to make certain cuts to the material based on uh, time reasons and some things that were worked in the book didn't really translate well on film. If somebody were to make a movie about your life, what kind of cuts do you think that they would make to your life? Well, all the drunk nude scenes running around at teenage parties, they probably cut all those. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I don't know, man. Um, actually, maybe they, maybe they won't cut those. Maybe they'll, they'll be it's the, good the for key movie. selling point in the movie. Yeah, it's good. good um, what parts will they cut of my life? Uh, I honestly don't know. I mean, I, I've had... The last five years for me have been like, you know, go to drama school, come out of drama school and just get work straight away. And so I've had such a lucky, like that, you know, it's very rare to do, but I've, I've just been so lucky to just get film after film after film. Right. And new experience after new experience. Um, and so I, I, don't, I don't really know, I don't know, I, can't, I need to look back into more memories to, to be able to tell you that. Yeah. I guess they'd cut all the boring scenes from Cairns <laughs> where I grew up in. Such rich, you know, such beautiful childhood memories. But in, you know, you kind of, at the time, you, I remember thinking, I've got to get out of this place. You know, yeah, can't wait to move to a big city um, and start acting. But now that I look back, it was a pretty cool memory. Yeah. When people have the freedom to choose. They choose wrong. Tomorrow morning, skip your injection. I've been doing it for months. What do you feel? He's not usually like this. I'm surprised you're not more worried about him. I would be. Bring up Jonas's activity. He's inquisitive. You should know better than anyone. The way things look and the way things are are very different. Watch. That's my father. There is no way for me to prepare you for the truth. I, I imagine you had to work with a voice coach to kind of hide your accent a little bit. Maybe, maybe not for this film, but at some point in your life. Can you give me a couple of pointers on how to perfect the Australian accent? Well, you need to work on your A's. Okay. Your A's. You say, g'day, hey, hey. Hey. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. Perfect. Um, and you need to drop your R. So you'll say horror. Horror. We say horror. 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 Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Horror. Awesome. That's it, bro. That's just those two things, and you almost got it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I get it kind of confused with a uh, British accent when I like try to play with it. With yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, we're we're kind of so lazy. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> our accents going like that, like that. The English they tend to enunciate and pronounce, and they like to talk and use Indonesian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the weed is, is, is the dinner's on the table, mate, go grab it. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> I love my I love my Aussie accent. Like all over the world, people are like, How do you do an Aussie accent? But you really just have to dumb down a bit. Forget yeah. your maths, forget your education and then go. <laughs> awesome. Well thank you so much for your time, man. Right. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks. Awesome.